morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting Grumman Pilots Association. And this morning we want to talk a little bit more about the latch uh, post assembly and how it relates to the bow and the shims. We did a video on this the other day. We had a couple of people who were uh, asking for some clarification, so we're going to try to provide that for you today. This is your aircraft bow. This side over here is aft. This side points forward. Now the bow is upside down on the table and I've got it secured to a rack so it won't fall down. <clears throat> so here's your canopy latch assembly. You've got your rotating post. You've got your rev nut. You've got your 832 screw and the latch plate block itself. Now it goes here on the bow like this. Now we're looking at it upside down. So this is down and into the table is up. <clears throat> but this thing is adjusted like this using these shims and what these shims do is when we work on an airplane we usually call out we like our shims to be flat um, we call out how many were in front of the bow and how many are back and when we talk about being behind the bow it's sorry about that it's this stack right here and this is how you by adding shims here if you'll notice that every time you add a shim you move this block forward and what that does is it means the canopy has to pull harder against the double B seed and canopy seal to close. If your canopy won't quite latch, then you need to remove a couple of shims and relax it and let it go back because you've probably got new seals. So putting the shims in here in this location drives this back, which makes it cook tighter. And you may need to adjust that over time because these double bead seals will last 40 years, properly maintained. But when they start to fail, they use their resiliency and then your canopy doesn't quite close. So you may need to make some adjustments. After you change a windshield and the bead seals, then it's always a guessing game and you can pretty much do it in one or two tries is what do you actually need for a bead? Because you want a good seal on the canopy, but you don't want to crush them. And that's why a lot of people in hangers won't latch their canopy. They'll leave a slight gap so there's no pressure on the seals from the canopy being closed all the time. But, you know, in conclusion, use these to adjust how your canopy latches, and that's why those things, do not throw these away, hang on to them, because you'll need them eventually someday. Every airplane's a bit different, so we hope you found this useful. Um, we'd like to thank you for watching Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel, and have a good day flying your Grumman. Thanks for watching.